Taigi sveiki, radio studijos tau, klausytojai, sveikinus jūsų visais, kurie galbūt tik dabar prisijungėte prie mūsų su jumis, aš Andrius Jenušauskas, kalbam, kas gero šį vakarą nutiks Kaune, o nutiks tikrai gerų dalykų, tik pakausykit. Pernai surengęs net 80 pasirodymų Junktinėje karalystėje ir Žemininėje Europoje, šiame Danielis jau pasirodė Junktinėse Amerikos valstijose. Debiutavo New Yorke su labai sėkmingų pasirodymų serijoje legendiniame Soho Playhouse teatre. Beje, New York Times kultūros priedas apie šiuos pasirodymus rašė pirmajame savo puslapyje. Na, o vėliau du mėnesius keliavo ir pasirodė Australijoje ir Naujojoje Zelandijoje. Denelis aštuonerius metus iš eilės išpardavė pasirodymus Edinburgh Fridge festivalį ir nuolat pasirodo Junktinėje karalystėje, Žemininėje Europoje, Australijoje ir Junktinėse Amerikos valstijose. Jis jau penkis kartus pasirodė Conan O'Brien'o laidoje Conan, Sunday Night at the Palladium ir Russell Howard's Good News. Jis buvo vienas iš kurėjų, rašė ir vaidino Škodijos komedijos apdaunojimuose apdaunotame serijale MÜV kalbėjo TEDx konferencijoje būdamas vos 19. Na ir beje, taip pat išleido savo pasirodymo DVD ir šiuo metu dirba prie televizijos projekto pilotinės versijos Warner Bros. kino studijai. Taigi, ponas ir ponai, pristatau jums komiką Daniel Sloss. Hello, Daniel. Hi, how are you doing? I'm pretty good, actually. What about yourself? <laughs> good, yeah. Can you give us a moment, please? Yeah, yeah, all good. At the moment, you're in Latvia, but today, your first time show off in Konas. How's it go so far? It's good. It's good. We've been on tour for about three weeks now. We've been going to some new places, like so we're in Riga today. We've never been in Riga before, so that's exciting. And then Kaunas, we've never played before uh, either. But uh, we have done Vilnius in Lithuania, and it's always been one of our favorite gigs. So it's nice to go back to places we've been before, but then also good to sort of try new places and get out to new audiences. A third time you will visit Lithuania. Could you share some nice moments during your visits? What did you like the most? You guys can drink. You guys. <laughs> it's always nice after the show to go for a couple of uh, beers with the fans, and uh, it turns out you guys don't do only just a couple of beers. Uh, also. Uh, she went to some bar, and I don't know if this is, I don't know if it's like a Lithuanian pastime, but there was like table football there, and uh, like, we were against these two girls who were just, it was like playing Ronaldinho or Ronaldo or Messi, and like, we turned into a drinking game when I can't remember anything else. <laughs> yeah, it was great, really great. When it all began, your career, when did you realize that you are funny? Uh, I started when I was about 16, 17. Um, I realized it was funny when I was young because I realized it could get me out of trouble. Uh, making people laugh tends to make them like you and forgive you. Uh, but I didn't start doing it on stage until I was about 16. Um, but I was always quite good at it. I, just, I was very confident because um, I was a cocky teenager. And then fortunately I just managed to uh, drag that through into adult life as well. In your personal opinion, to be the comedian you must have a gift, talent, or it's just a pure hard work? Um, I think it's a fair bit of each. I think there are some people on this planet who just are not funny, and we all know who they are. Um, just, you know, unfunny people. I think it requires a little bit of talent. Um, you know, skill to play a room, understand what the audience wants, and sort of how to get them onto your side. But then hard work as well. I know plenty of comics that are very, very funny, but they just don't put the effort in, and that's why you've never heard of them. Daniel, what is the best your personal project or most ambitious show off you ever had in the past? I've done Conan six times in the past uh, four years, uh, three years in America. Um, you know, I never thought I'd ever get the chance to do American television, let alone, you know, do Conan that many times. So yeah, that's definitely been a highlight. What's your goals now and what achievements you would like to see in the future? The biggest achievement so far, I'd probably say, was you know the the European tour. Like it's, I get to come to some places you know I've never heard to heard of or I never would have gone to before. And then you turn up and you know it's sold out. And every year that we come back to Europe, we know it's the audiences are getting bigger. We're getting the same people back. So for us, that's a it's uh, a great achievement just to you know get, keep the fans coming back. And the plans for the future are essentially just to keep this going. I mean, I don't necessarily want to be on television all the time. I don't want to be in movies. I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be a comedian that tours. Um, so just keep doing this as much as you can. And now, a free blitz questions for Daniel. Cool. Uh, what's your idol? Uh, Bill Burr. Cool. Uh, what about video game? 
God, let's go for uh, the classic Halo 2. And your favorite politician? Donald Trump. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, I like uh, I like Nicola Sturgeon, Scotland's first prime minister. She's a uh, she's a ball buster. I respect her. Great. Would you like to add a few words for our audience? Uh, it's our first time in uh, in Kaunas. We've never been before. Uh, but the guy Paulius, who runs all our gigs uh, out there, uh, assures us it's going to be great. But just you know, if you're into comedy, if you see my stuff on YouTube, please come down. And if you're easily offended, please stay at home and never come see me. Okay, thanks, Daniel, for this interview. I guarantee that it will be great laugh tonight. So take care and see you soon, buddy. That would be great, man. I'll see you then. Okay. Cheers. Thank you very much. Bye. Wow. Tai buvo Daniel's Loss, ponas ir ponai, garantuoju šiandien kažkam teks nusimauti kelnes, nes nuo joko jos bus šlapios. Rekomenduoju nepraleisti šios progos pasijuokti šiandien Jump Pub'e 19 valandą. Žavi drasus, arogancijos, nejaukumo ir saviplagos jo kelių kurėjas. Tie kol kas žinių, nepraleisit progos apsilankyti būtent minėtoje vietoje. Laisės alėje, 59.